What's going on YouTube? I get a lot of questions about, you know, what kind of drugs I take. Okay, look, it's not because of drug use. My sleep paralysis, shadow people, encounters. It's not because of drugs. It's because, I guess, okay, this is what, let me explain it. From as far as what I learned about it, as far as watching, you know, YouTube videos and educating myself on the subject, your body is in, it's paralyzed, it's, it's asleep, but your mind wakes up, but your body is still resting. I guess that part of, uh, you know, when you're going to sleep and you have a dream and like you do crazy stuff in your dream, like run, fly, you know, fight, anything like that. It keeps your body paralyzed so you don't act out your dreams. So you don't run, uh, fly, fight in the real life. Not that you could fly, but you know what I mean. Not that you don't jump off your balcony thinking you could. You know what I mean? So it keeps your body in a paralyzed state. So as I'm in this paralyzed state, my mind is awake. But at the same time, I'm dreaming, I guess. But these dreams, instead of being in a dream world, they are in the real world. Now, that's what that's how it's explained. But what I don't understand is how and why are everybody with the sleep paralysis having the same hallucinations? That's what are the odds that everybody's seeing the same thing in this state is this a certain state that we could see entities and shit now like I've, I've i've tried to explain to you guys before look i'm like full-blown atheist you know what i mean my side says free thinker i am a free thinker i am an atheist i i don't believe in god now my ways are changing a bit, but for right now, I don't believe in this kind of stuff. You know what I mean? But it's starting to make me believe in it a little because of the things I see at night during my sleep paralysis. Some people say, well, hey, maybe, uh, maybe you, um, maybe your house is haunted. And I'm like, it can't be because it happened to me in Miami and it happened to me here. It happened to me uh, anytime I'm really stressed. I was stressed about getting some tags yesterday and I got shut down at the DMV because I needed whatever. It's a bunch of shit, right? So I'm stressed. I'm stressed, you know, uh, and, you know, sleep deprived as well. So... This is what happened to me last night. I was laying in my bed, charging one of these. You can't overcharge it or you'll break it or something, right? So, what I did was, I woke up in the middle of the night and I ran and, cause I fell asleep while I was waiting on it. But while I was doing that, I was watching YouTube videos. Like, I'm literally out of it, but I'm keeping myself up. Like, keeping my body up. I'm trying to keep up. And so, I unplug it, then I lay down. Boom. Instantly, I fall asleep, and I'm having a lucid dream. It's not that late in the night, uh, because this happened to me exactly at 2 a.m. in the morning. Uh... So I'm sitting there, I'm laying there, and I, I wake up from a lucid dream. I roll over and I put my head on the pillow and you know, I'm, I'm tired, so you know, I'm resting my eyes. But like 30 seconds later, I hear I could feel in my head, all the blood is rushed to my head and I could feel it tingling all in my face. And 
I'm laying there and I hear a dog on the bed. I hear a dog on the bed so real that I thought there was an actual animal in the room, but I couldn't move. So I'm like, oh, this should be fun. I know what's happening to me. I experienced it enough. I know what's happening. I'm about to see some fucking crazy ass shit, right? That's what I'm thinking. So I'm laying there with my eyes closed. And even at this point, my eyes were hard to open. So my eyes are closed and I hear this dog growling in my ear like, arr, arr. and I know it sounds crazy. Trust me, I'm not trying to look like a complete fool. You know what I mean? I wouldn't say this shit if I, it really wasn't happening. So as I'm laying there like that, I, I, I. I try to look at it, you know, to see if it's a dog, you know, uh, a dog figure or something. No dog figure, nothing on the bed. But I, I, I look up like that. Like, I'm trying to reenact how I was looking. Don't think I'm crazy and shit. I was trying to open my eyes and, and I looked up and a big ass black, like, dress just flew over me. And... It's kind of like it kind of remind me of like the movie Mama, where or or it was a movie where uh, you turn off the lights and these shadow demons come get you or some shit. It looked just like that, but as far as all, all I can see, it's like just like a movie, like the effect, the the noise it made, everything. It was like, you know what I mean? Like just. Anyways, I fucking look crazy. Sound crazy. Uh, uh, so anyway, so I'm sitting there trying to call out my girlfriend and I noticed I can not speak. I'm like this. I couldn't like I felt not out of breath, but I just couldn't use my voice. I couldn't do it. It was like. It was like I said, it was just like. And so I eventually woke up out of it and I was like, Melissa. And she was like, what? And I'm like, it happened again. <laughs> and I'm like, damn, I sound like a damn lunatic, man. I sound psychotic, something, man. Something ain't right. I gotta go to a doctor. I need some pills to sleep through this. I'm tired of living like this. I mean, it's happened so often now that I know, now that I know more about it, it happens to me so often now. Like it's been years without this. And now it's like happening a bunch. So anyway, yep, that's my shadow being sleep paralysis moment, most recent. Uh, and yeah, it was scary, man. It was like, <laughs> It's crazy, man. So I'm just laying here right here, right? And I'm like, oh. and, and all you see is whoosh, a big black fucking just waving over the ceiling, man. And I'm like, oh shit. And like the dog, it sounded like it was like right here in front of me. And.